understand these all three steps effectively, let us take one example. Yeah, I have an example equation where HCl is reacting with NaOH. And the question is, write the product of this. How do we solve it? First step, how many cations and anions are there? H plus is one cation, Na plus is one cation. So I have two cations. And then anions, chlorine is one anion, OH minus is one anion. So I have two anions, right? So if I have two cations and two anions, it has to be a double displacement reaction, correct? Now, this is the first step. Second step, what should we do? In the second step, we have to identify which are cations and anions. Of course, we just now have spoken. Sodium is one cation. H plus is second cation. Chlorine is one anion. OH minus is second anion. Correct? And third step, this cross method, which is the most funny step. Yeah, it, it's just like a puzzle. You have to now inter-exchange the positions of cations since it is double displacement. Okay. Now, H comes into the place of Na and Na goes into the place of H. So, Na would be adjacent to chlorine. Charge of Na is 1. Charge of chlorine is again 1. Crisscross is nothing but cross multiply. Na into 1, which is just Na. Cl minus into 1, which is just a Cl. Na, Cl, right? So, this is one product. That's cool. Let us write it here. Plus, the second one is what? You have to place hydrogen next to OH minus. Hydrogen is 1 plus 1 and OH minus is minus 1. Crisscross. cross, you will get HOH. Guys, can we not write it as H2O? We can, isn't it? So the second product is H2O. This is how we implement all these three steps. Yeah. And now let me explain you one more example. Before I could start asking you to solve the questions. Yeah. The next example, and for this example, I would love to see your responses constantly in the question box. The question is, you have a reactant set like this. The first reactant is, let me use a, what is that? Yeah, thick pen so that the equation looks pretty highlighted. Yeah, where the equation is CuSO4 plus iron. What is the product? Guys, these are simple reactions. We know the answers, but please apply the steps. And then we'll go to the complicated reactions, okay? So the first step is what? We have to identify how many cations, how many anions are there. Okay, how many cations do we have? One is copper, metal, iron, another metal. So two cations, correct? How many anions? We have SO4 minus two, the one and only anion. One, cat, one anion and two cations. What is the mechanism possible? The possible mechanism is that way. Yeah, well, so this is a single displacement reaction. Now the second step is to identify what are those cations and anions? We already know it. Cu plus 2, Fe plus 2. Anion is SO4 minus 2. One important thing. You should keep in mind when you are dealing with single displacement reactions. Always check if the metal which is going to displace is more reactive or less reactive than existing metal in the compound. Iron is it more reactive or less reactive? You have a doubt? Let's go back to the reactivity series and check. Where is iron? Iron is here. And where is copper? Copper is here. So iron is stronger than copper. So iron can easily beat copper, occupy its place, right? So now the reaction is feasible. Let's come back. As the reaction is feasible, let us take the third step. What is the third step? Crisscross method. You have to displace the cation. So iron should be written along with SO4 minus. Iron charge is 2. SO4 minus 2 charge is 2. Inter exchange and then write the product. What would be the product, my dear students? Well, that's correct. See, guys, I have already seen you answering both the products. I did not reveal it because I was in the flow of explanation. FeSO4. And one thing, if you have a doubt, why not Fe2SO4 too? Both the numbers are same. They can be cancelled, right? Simple mathematics. So FeSO4 is one product. How about the second product? What is left now? 
obviously copper alone is left so the second product is copper this is how we write the chemical equations and the products right guys so well i really appreciate all of you who have been constantly responsive i really appreciate good my dear students and please keep it up yeah